at the Storyteller Children's Center, and with me is Executive Director Terry Allison. How are you, Terry? I'm great. How are you doing? It's a pleasure to have you in our show. And Terry, I know there is something special about organizations that work with children, but especially with children in need. So why don't we start by telling our viewers what's the mission of Storyteller? Well, Storyteller's mission is to work with homeless and at-risk children, and most of our families are from uh, shelters from transition house, domestic violence solution shelters, or their families in some sort of crisis. And so our main goal is to offer a really quality early childhood education program for the children that attend here. Good. What's the background of Storyteller? Um, Storyteller was founded in 1988 and um, Community Action Commission at that time. There were some women that saw some homeless families on the street and they came to Community Action Commission and said, how can we help? So we wrote a grant and we were in the transition house when they were in the Quonset hut on mm -hmm. Ortega Street and we pushed back cots and we started with a half day program with about a half a dozen children and in the last 20 years we've grown to serving over um, 100 children a year now. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, it's great. Now I know you have a lot of programs going on and uh, they all you know, really help our community, but let's just start with the child care and early childhood education program. One of the most important times in a child's life is um, zero to five. And research is showing in, um, how much brain development goes on and how much social emotional growth takes place in the early years. Mm -hmm. So the, our first and primary goal is to provide a really safe, nurturing, and a quality education educational experience for the children when they're here with us and really foster cognitive growth but mostly social emotional growth and make sure that the children are feeling confident and really ready to kind of take on the world um, after they leave us and go into into the school system and then in addition to that we have services for the families so in a partnership with New Beginnings Counseling Center mm -hmm. we have a life skills training program that's just a nine-month program every Tuesday night with when we offer child care and parents learn to balance a checkbook parenting skills whatever they need uh, that program will help them address that in their life and then we also have on-site counseling mm -hmm. we have parent education meetings but really we want to take you know, a global look at what's happening in our programs and what's happening with these families and, you know, really start to make a difference in their lives because once we make a difference in their lives, then it, it goes out and makes a difference, you know, wherever they go. Everywhere, that's yeah. true. Uh -huh. You also provide services of vision and dental screening? Um, right. We're, we have a collaboration with the Head Start program, state preschool program, and mm -hmm. um, so those are the federal and state monies that we get. And through those programs, um, every child is required to get a physical and a dental screening um, when they enter. I would like to hear more real life examples of storyteller helping families, local families. Mm -hmm. Well, one of our families that came to us was um, a little girl that had been exposed to methamphetamine in utero and, and then again in her first year. So the grandmother had custody and they were really struggling because when a child is exposed to any kind of drugs in utero or in their very first year, there's a lot of delays that can happen and a lot of social and emotional trauma that a child can have. And when a child has trauma in their early years, um, then it's really hard for them to, to self-regulate, to be in the classroom, mm -hmm. and to actually kind of have a you know, an average childhood experience. So um, when she came to us, she was really angry. She was um, doing a lot of self-hurting. So working together with her grandmother and her mother, who was in, in um, rehab, and the whole family, and then our team of teachers. So we had, in the classroom, she got a lot of attention. She had some specialists that came to work with her, some behavior specialists. And then together, we created a program that started to meet her needs and um, help her um, self-regulate is the is you know is the a technical term. term, but to to be able to um, be in a situation where if things got to be a little tense or things were going her way, is to take a deep breath and to actually use her words and you know be able to respond in um, a healthy way. Congratulations for so that. Effort. It was she's a great girl, and you know the thing that happens is that um, you know, oftentimes children are put in a situation that they don't deserve and that they don't bring on themselves and actually the adults around them don't intend 
to be harmful, but certain, but sometimes life just takes you down a path. And the time that we can make the biggest difference is zero to five. Tell me more about your staff members, because you were mentioning you have teachers here. Uh -huh. We have um, 12 teachers. Mm -hmm. We're a staff of about 20, including administration and substitutes. But our staff members are uh, amazing, amazing women. They, they've been with us for a long time, which is really unusual in <laughs> early childhood. It's usually a high turnover occupation. They continue to increase their education and really want to be involved with our families. I can say a million things about, you know, what we do programmatically, mm -hmm. but where it all really happens is in the classroom. That really solid relationship with their primary caregiver is you know, so important, it's such an important ingredient, raising a healthy child. This is a good time to give our viewers uh, more information, your website and the phone. Um, if you'd like to volunteer, um, you can call us at uh, 682-9585. You can also check us out on our website. It's www.storytellercenter.org and all the contact information is there. So we love community volunteers and would love to have you join us. Thank you, Terry, for all uh -huh. that information, and congratulations for this program. It's amazing, and I hope a lot of families get really the help that they need through storytelling. Uh -huh. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Thank you. Uh -huh. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.spchannels.tv or call 963-3893. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future Nonprofit Spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.